Welcome to the new episode of Deal Unboxing. Today we will be unboxing, reviewing and comparing Netgear RB AC3000 against Asus AC GT5300 tri-band Wi-Fi router. So stick around until the end of this video to see the results. Netgear RB was the first tri-band mesh network that uses two or more routers to blanket your home in Wi-Fi. The RB is an AC 802.11 tri-band router sporting speed up to 3 gigabits per second. What makes this uh, Netgear RB special is that it has a dedicated 4 channel 5 gigahertz backhaul connection between its base and satellite unit with 4 433 megabits link available for a total of 1.7 gigabits over the backhaul connection transmitting back to the base router it's like a range extender on steroid. Netgear ORB has a great specification. It's powered by Qualcomm uh, control chip and a 710 MHz quad-core processor, 512 uh, MB of RAM, 4 GB of storage, 6 dedicated Wi-Fi antennas supporting tri-band and uh, Wi-Fi backhaul antennas for dual band front hall connections beam forming an mu-mimo four gig LAN ports one van connection and one usb2 port according to uh, orby you should uh, place the router um, in the basement and uh, put the satellite in the middle of the house so it gives you better coverage we're going to be testing uh, this uh, unit in a second against asus so stay tuned. Netgear Orbi Mesh Kit comes with a detailed setup guide how to set up and connect the unit and configure it. A single um, main router and a satellite and two power adapters and an Ethernet cable. On the back of the satellite, you will get four gig LAN ports, one USB 2 connection, a sync button and power button. On the back of the router, you have one sync button, one internet port, and uh, three gig LAN ports, one USB 2 connection and a power button. Netgear claims combining router and satellite you get up to 5000 square feet of coverage. So we're going to be testing this theory and uh, compare it against our um, current champion uh, router ASUS AC GT5300. ASUS Rogue Rapture AC GT5300 is a beast router and is powered by quad-core 64-bit 1.8 GHz processor tri-band and 8 antennas. Um, GT5300 has the best Wi-Fi coverage and speed for a single router and was able to beat uh, newer ASUS uh, AX11000 Wi-Fi 6 router in our recent comparison, so please definitely check out that video as well. The main focus of this comparison is Wi-Fi coverage. We know ASUS has better specs and might not be a fair comparison here, but we would like to see how these two titans uh, compare against each other in real-world extreme Wi-Fi coverage test, so stick around. Netgear Orbi was very simple to set up uh, and uh, was able to connect with Verizon Fios uh, Ethernet setup without any problem. We were able to plug in Fios Ethernet cable directly into the router's internet port uh, without needing any extra modem. And the Orbi router was able to connect to the Fios without any problem. We placed the Orbi right next to Asus router in the basement storage room which is surrounded by concrete walls. Netgear's RB uh, app and it took us less than 10 minutes to set up Wi-Fi and password. First, we will be only testing Orbi's router Wi-Fi coverage without satellite to see how the main unit performs against the Asus router. 
For the first test, we walked up to our TV in the basement, which is around 40 feet from the Wi-Fi routers, and signal strength is 100% for both Orbi and Asus. I just want to point out real quick that Asus being a tri-band router, we had its each band named differently. So Batman is 2.4 GHz band, Superman is 5 GHz band running on low channels and Wonder Woman is also a 5 GHz band running on higher channels above 150. So keep that in mind as you see these uh, Wi-Fi names showing up throughout the test. To the main floor of the house we have strong signals from both Orbi and Asus but as we move far side of the main floor which is about 40 feet away and have few walls and floor in between we are starting to see signal strength drop to about 50% for both Orbi and Asus. Then moving to the second floor of the house and about 20 feet right above the location of the routers in the basement our signal strength jumped back to 100% for both routers. And even though we moved around on the second floor, signal strength was still 100%. And just want to remind you guys again, this is Orbi router only, uh, comparing against Asus router. We're going to be adding satellite um, for Orbi later down in the test. Then we came down on the main floor and went outside the house, which is about 40 feet away from both routers. And now we have few walls, including concrete wall in the basement and a stone wall covering outside of the house and a floor between us and routers. Here we see signal strength drop to 50% for both Orbi and Asus 5 GHz bands, but Asus 2.4 GHz channels Batman is still showing 100% signal strength. One of the toughest uh, tests of this comparison is to provide Wi-Fi signal to the outside Wi-Fi security camera, which is mounted behind stone wall and none of the routers we have tested in the past were able to maintain strong signals with the camera except Asus AC GT5300. Here we are seeing Orbi struggling and failed to maintain Wi-Fi signals, whereas Asus 2.4 GHz channel Batman still working fine, but none of the Asus 5 GHz channels showing up as well. Now we move to the garage side of the house which is about 60 feet from the routers and have wall, concrete wall, stone wall, few regular walls and a floor between us and routers. Here again RB router failed to connect and maintain Wi-Fi signals whereas Asus 2.4 GHz Batman channel is still showing strong signals up to 40%. But surprisingly, Asus 5 GHz channel um, band Wonder Woman showing up as well. But low channel 5 GHz band Superman is nowhere to be found. So I guess we found the Orbi router's Wi-Fi signal limit, which is in standalone mode is able to achieve excellent coverage and should be um, sufficient enough for coverage up to 30 feet of the area. We are going to add Orbi um, satellite and create Orbi mesh network and see how it compares against ASUS GT5300. Setting up Orbi satellite units was very simple. All we had to do is to power uh, the satellite and uh, once it is fully powered, we rebooted the Orbi router and press sync button behind satellite and both router and satellite were able to create Orbi mesh network without any issue. So after the mesh network was created, we went outside to our previous garage site location and the results were very different now. RB mesh network did the trick and now we have great Wi-Fi signal here as well. Now we are going to take this comparison to the extreme and test some great distances. Standing at about 150 feet from the house, we can still see RB has great signal and ASUS 2.4 GHz channel Batman is also keeping up with Orbi at this stage. 
We ran an internet speed test on 100 by 100 megabit FIOS internet connection and results are still great at great Wi-Fi distance. We took the comparison to max extreme and standing at about 300 feet from the house, we can still connect to Orbi's Wi-Fi mesh network. But unfortunately, ASUS GT5300 could not send signal that far out. But again, ASUS being a single router was able to achieve excellent coverage distance at about 200 feet. ASUS claimed GT5300 can cover 5000 square feet of area and it surpasses that claim without any doubt. We again ran an internet speed test at 300 feet and were surprised to see the results at that distance. Netgear Orbi is no doubt the new champion in Wi-Fi coverage with great features, but it is expensive and lacks USB 3. And in the ever-growing market of Wi-Fi mesh systems by different manufacturers, including ASUS Air Mesh System, it will be interesting to see who can challenge and takes the Wi-Fi coverage crown from Netgear Orbi. If you like this video, please hit like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.